how to use the socket io client to connect to a web socket server in flutter you can easily do this using the socket io client package here before we begin if you are running a web socket server locally you may want to run the following adb command in your terminal to allow your emulator or device connect to the server the 5000 in this case is your port number that the server is running on now let's start by importing the package we will also add a suffix for easy usage therefore i have added the as keyword and socket underscore io this socket io instance takes in the url of the websocket server for which i am currently running a local server therefore i am using the 127.0.0.1 on the port number 5000 after this you can call the option builder next we will call the set transport property and then set it to websocket after which we will also enable the auto connect flag and finally, we'll call the build method. After this is done, we can now listen for the various events that will occur as we use the WebSocket server. Therefore, to do this, we'll start by creating a setup listener method, and inside it, we call on the socket on method and use it to listen to a connect event with the name that we have supplied. And then we carry out a function for which we will use the logger to print out connected in the console we can also do the same thing for the disconnect event as i've done so finally we can then add the setup listener to our init state also don't forget to add the dispose method and then inside it call the socket.close method to free up the resources when not in use now after a hot restart we can see the word connected printed in the console notifying us that the socket has successfully connected to the WebSocket server. For this tutorial, we have created a simple chart UI that will communicate with a local WebSocket server. And this will display a typed message that is typed in by the user. And once the user taps the send button, it will display the message after sending it to the WebSocket. Therefore, I have created a text editing controller for the text box. And I have also initialized an empty list for the charts in the state of the widget. For the chart object, we have created a simple chart class containing the following properties. We have also added the from JSON method and the to JSON method for easy serialization and deserialization of data. Now, we are going to work on sending chat messages using the UI, which will help us communicate with the WebSocket server. Therefore, we'll start by creating a simple send chat method and inside it, after we've confirmed that the text box is not empty, we then get the chat object containing the typed in text and the date time. Next, using the socket instance, we can call the emit method, which takes in the name of the event, in this case, the chat event, and also takes in the value for which we set it to chat.toJSON. Finally, in the send chat method, we then clear the chat text box. And now, finally, we can then add the send chat method to our send button. Once that is done, we will need to listen to the chat event for when the user sends a message. We can do this by editing the setup listeners method. First, we'll call on the socket.on method and we'll listen to the chat event. And in the callback, we can update the chat list in our state with the data returned. Now, after a hot restart, when we type a message in the text box and tap the send button, we can see that we have sent a message to the server. We can also confirm this by looking in the console for which we can see the values that we sent, the content being hello and the time that it was sent.